Good day, Dino friends. There we go. There we go. Welcome to another video. So last time I talked about Build World for Treasure and when you are new to the game, there are some problems that make some people not want to play. They want to quit the game and never come back right from the start. It's really sad. This is episode two about things that build a boat for treasure need to change. I don't know what the title is. I don't know what I'm going to title this series yet because I'm recording all of these at the same time. Something like build a boat needs to change this. I don't know. Episode two, I want to talk about the middle tier progression. Okay, so I'm talking about when you're, you have like basically three players, right? Someone who's re very new to the game, who barely finished the tutorial, maybe never made it to the end or maybe once. Then you have average people who've played the game a few times. They have maybe a few thousand gold and they have made it to the end a bunch of times. And then you have the real addicts like us. Well, uh, if you're watching this, you're probably an addict like me. You probably have a lot of thousands of blocks, uh, possibly over a hundred thousand gold. You've made it to the end so many times. You probably have a grinder or used your friend's grinder to make it all the way to the end a bunch of times, etc. Right now, I'm talking about the second one, the middle person. So for the average person right now, Let's say you've done the tutorial, played, made it to the end a few times, you're now kind of an average build board for treasure player. You have some gold, you have made it to the end a bunch of times, you have more blocks, you can make small, medium-sized boats. The problem is that there isn't really very satisfying progression. I kind of talked about this in the last video. So in, you don't really have a system that keeps you in the game and that is fun. Like in other games, you have like levels, and it's fun to go to the next level. In the in Build Boat for Treasure, you kind of just have to grind. You kind of just have to keep grinding gold, and it's a very, <laughs> very small amount of gold every single time. Unless if you have one of those super hyper ultra powered grinders that yeet you to the end within two seconds, then it's probably pretty fast. But for the rest of us who are just trying to play the game sort of fair and square, no weird grinders or glitches or anything like that, there isn't really anything to work towards. Now, as I said in the last video, this video, these videos are not going to be about suggest uh, about like the ideas on how to fix this, but mostly to addressing the problems. But some ways to fix this are maybe I don't know if levels would fit in Build a Boat for Treasure. I think that would be weird. How would you even do that? You know, like you are level one, you are level ten. What does that even mean? I don't know if that would work in Build a Boat for Treasure. But as I said in the last video, one thing that could be very interesting is that you could work towards getting more gold every time you get make it to the end. Every time you make it to the end, you get a little bit more gold than the time before that, etc. I think that would be, first of all, that would be, and I think for Chill Throw, quite easy to script. I think that would be like a five minute job, but I'm not sure. <laughs> because he already has like uh, a game pass, so, so he knows how to make it multiple times. You get multiple times the gold. I think that would keep people playing because you kind of want to make it to the end every time because you know that, it'll mean, that it will mean that you will get even more gold next time. So things like that in, is what I think the game really needs. I think it would really help if the game had, I don't know, just more things to work towards. And I'm not really talking about like the quests. The quests are kind of fun. Uh, collecting the, the chests is kind of fun. Where are the chests here? Collecting all of these things are kind of fun, events are kind of fun, but I don't feel like a lot of people play for that. I think if there's something to work towards... Who is that? I'm in my private server, what the heck? What the heck? Bruh. Okay, anyway, I think that would be really cool if there was something more... Personally for me, I don't know about you guys, personally for me, that totally makes or breaks a game if it has something that you can work on whether it means leveling up or creating something long term anyway that's really all for this video it's just going to be a short video so let me know in the comments please thank you if you left comments on the last one i don't know right now because i'm recording all of these on the same day 
but thank you if you left any comments on the last ones thank you to green and carl for sponsoring and i'll see you guys in the next one bye friends don't forget stomp like a dinosaur stomp 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 or a lego dinosaur stomp 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 <laughs>